Directions to Chick-fil-A. Isn't navigation so good? By the time we're done here, we will utilize the built-in capabilities of the Cisco iOS to enable proficient configuration processes. That's as about as official sounding as I get. In a nutshell, I'm going to show you how to get into the iOS and find your way around. Now, I've got my summary slide right here, but this is more for me than it is for you, just to make sure I cover the right stuff. So let's jump over to our HQ router. All right, so I'm back over here at the Cisco pod. All I did since the last video where I did the initial config dialog is reboot this device so we would lose all of the stuff that we put in in the initial config dialog. Uh, let's jump over the screen. You can see that I've got this thing sitting again at that same question. Do you want to enter initial config dialog? I'm going to hit no. Um, when you're first getting started on Cisco, don't be afraid to press the enter key. You'll see a lot of times just a ton of messages coming through, sometimes even looking scary, like error opening. This is that auto configuration that I was talking about where, where the router tries to broadcast and say, here's my configuration. It's, it's going, help, somebody give it to me, help somebody, because nobody's configuring the device. It's just telling you on the screen, that's what I'm doing right up here. So I hit no, I don't want to enter the initial config dialog. It spews out a whole bunch of stuff. Notice it says, press return to get started, and then blah, 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 blah. It's just saying, here's my startup messages. Don't worry. Again, blinking cursor at the end of the prompt. Don't be afraid. Just hit enter. Hit enter again. Keep, just keep hitting enter until you feel good about hitting enter uh, on that prompt. Okay, so I'm sitting here at the, at the router prompt. First thing I'm going to do is type in a few commands, and I'll talk about these commands later on, uh, just to... Um, get a few commands in the history. I'm going to type in configure terminal, uh, type in host name. Uh, this is a test. And you can see I changed the name of the router now to this is a test from router. Exit back out and so on and so forth. Okay, so now uh, basic configuration commands. Ah, and see, I, I, uh, I did something I didn't, I want to show it to you. I'm going to go back in config, configure, type in exit. Hit enter. As soon as I do that, it's going to spit out this status key. Again, when you're first getting started in Cisco, the cursor sitting at that, like if you type, you're like, hello, mom, right? It's typing, it's like, ah, oh, that's, that's not right. Like something's broken there. Again, don't be afraid to hit enter. Enter. We're back on a prompt. Enter anytime will get us back to a prompt, okay? So, first and foremost, navigation. Hitting the up arrow recalls the last type commands. That's why I wanted to get a few commands in there, right? Up arrow, down arrow on the keyboard. Um, arrow keys can navigate around, and, and I know it's logical, but sometimes uh, in the old days in Linux, the arrow keys would spit out weird characters. That's not the case on Cisco devices. Backspace deletes, you can arrow around, uh, delete a couple things, uh, type in, you know, uh, uh, commands. And let, me, let me actually hit the enter key right there. Notice the Cisco router is smart. It's saying invalid input detected at the funk character. Hmm, that's interesting. So it knew that I was on the right course when I was typing config and then I went wrong right there. Now, the way it knows that is because it has a little dictionary, a library, if you will, of commands it can, it can prompt for. I'm gonna hit the uh, question mark right here. Question mark is your friend. This will list all the commands that I can type from whatever mode I'm in. What do I mean mode? That's the next video when I talk about the different kind of configuration modes that you can have on your devices. Just for the record, when I typed in enable, I moved from user mode, which was, where it was router with a little right angle bracket right there. I moved from user mode over to privilege mode. So when I hit the, the question mark right now, it's actually going over to privilege mode and saying, what commands do you want? Or more specifically, what commands are available? So let's hit the question mark again. You can see here's my list of commands. I've got the more prompt. Anytime you see more, I can press enter to go one line at a time. See that? That's nice. Mm. Or I can press space and scroll a page at a time. So how did the Cisco router know that I went wrong as soon as I went config and I typed in an R? Well, look right here. It says the only available command that I have is C-O-N-F-I grr, right? And you didn't go that direction. So anytime, so when, when I'm typing, now check this out. This leads to a lot of interesting things. Watch this. As soon as I type in C-O-N-F and I hit question mark, it knows I'm going to type in configure. 
If I type in CON and hit question mark, oh, now we got a little disparity, right? Are you typing configure or are you typing connect? Watch what happens if I press the enter key. It's like, whoa, 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 uh-uh, sorry. That's ambiguous, ambiguous, meaning there's more than one. It's, it's not clear to me uh, what you're ref referencing when you type in con, but interesting enough, if I type in CONF and hit question mark, it knows what I'm, it knows what I'm gonna do, right? What happens if I press enter there? Look at that. It executes the command. It goes, I got enough. I know what you're talking about because uh, you know you, you were meaning, and now it's asking me, do you want to configure from terminal, memory, or the network? And by default, anytime it's in the bracket, it's going to assume that I'm using terminal. So I'll hit enter. And now I've entered the configuration mode, right? Interesting. So hang on, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's play with that for a second. C-O-N-F-I. What if I did that? Recognizes it. Okay, wait, C-O-N-F-I, whoop, wait a second. Ah, that command, now, oh, look at this. I, I, I'm, I'm confused. Well, now we come into the need for the tab key. The tab key is your friend, and you probably have seen me use it, even though you may not have known that I was using it. Watch this. If I type in the tab key, bam, it finishes the command. So when I was typing earlier, I, and I said, hang on, let me get a few commands in here, and I say configure terminal, and I hit the tab key, it's because the tab key is like, you know how they talk about um, uh, moms have eyes in the back of their head? People who configure Cisco routers have fingers growing on the tab key. Like, it, it just, it's always there. You're always typing tab because it helps you go so much faster. And let me, let, 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 there's so much I want to tell you. So, so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking all over the place, right? So C-O-N, right? I, I do it automatically. I don't know which one to type, right? Hit the tab key. It's like, bing, bing, bing. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. As soon as I type in F, it's like, I know what you mean, right? What about if I type in C-O-N-N, tab? It knows what I mean, right? It's going to finish whatever command is, is already there. So C-O-N-F, tab, and I'm sitting here and I've been typing in terminal T, finishing that out, but what if I wanted to know the next command? Question mark again. Look at that. I've got all of the commands available to me that I can type in after configure. It's a completely different set than way back here when I initially typed question mark at the prompt and it listed all the commands. Now it's just showing me these are the commands that you can type in after configure. You can configure revert, configure replace. In my case, I'm configuring from the terminal, which takes me to something known as global configuration mode. Man, I'm so into this, I could, I could do this all day. So let me just make sure uh, I'm on track here. So blinking cursor, got it. Backspace and arrow keys, got it. Recalling commands, got it. Ooh, didn't get that. Uh, partially type command, available commands, command abbreviations. That's what I was talking about when you can type a partial command uh, and type it in. And command syntax. Syntax, that's where I'm talking about using the question mark question mark to fill in some of the syntax that are that is uh, that is there um, so hang on let me let me go back here jumping back to my prompt uh, uh, ah, and I've got too many things going at the same time all right so uh, configure terminal what was I doing um, oh control a control V uh, so there's a lot of okay so Okay, so watch this. So I'm in global configuration mode, right? I changed the name of this router. So let's hit the up arrow, doop, doop. Look at that. It goes right to host name. This is a test because I'm in a different mode and I know I'm gonna talk about the modes in the next video and that's gonna be awesome. Um, but uh, but it, I need you to know that I'm in a mode right now that allows me to configure this device. I typed in host name. This is a test. Now, this is a fairly short command. Sometimes these commands will be so long, they literally fill this entire screen right here with, with syntax because I'm configuring a pretty complex device. And I may wanna move back to the beginning. Now, I know it seems trivial right now that I, I could just use the left and right arrow keys, but I can just hit Control A, Control E. Now I know you're like, okay, I got Control A, beginning of the alphabet. Why control E? Well, because control Z is your exit command no matter what. So I always think, uh, just remember A is the beginning of the alphabet and E is the end, right? E for end. So you go to the end that way. So so why, why do I care, right? Why do I care the lines? I could just use the arrow keys. Well, because you will get so fast. And, I, and I'm telling you this. You will get so fast at configuring Cisco devices. You're going to be like, da-da, da-da, da-da. And one of the key commands, we're going to see a lot more of it in the next video, 
that you can use is the negate command, or more specifically, no. You saw just a moment ago that I used hostname this is a test to set the name of my router, but what if I wanted to undo that? No. You take it back, right? Watch that. We'll do it again in slow motion. Host name. Bam. Right? Changes the name of the router. Hit the up arrow, control A, no, enter. It removes the host name. This is a test. This is going to be extraordinarily useful to you when you are doing things like um, removing IP addresses, changing passwords. Um, you typed in a command, you're like, ooh, didn't mean that. No, just removes that command out. And I want to plant that seed right now. But as it relates to navigation, that's why the control A and control E are so useful and used all the time. Truth be told, there are many more control characters. Matter of fact, uh, if you want to right now, I'm, I'm gonna have a whole big assignment later on that, that we go through um, pretty much doing all of the basic iOS navigation stuff. But if you, you would like to, and you're so inclined, which I would encourage you to, go to Google right now and type in um, iOS, Cisco iOS, Control key navigation, CTRL, control key navigation, and you will get probably 20 to 50 different commands that you can use control keys and escape keys and things like that to navigate around, move quickly. But I can tell you this I've been doing Cisco a long time. I only use control A and control E and control Z, which we're going to talk about when we talk about the modes. Um, everything else, I'm like, oh, that's nice, but poof, immediately evaporates from my mind. You have now seen how we can utilize the built-in capabilities of the Cisco iOS to enable proficient configuration processes. I love when I sound so technical. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.